Okay, tonight I'm back down here and I'm looking over some of the parts I took out of the uh, pump so far because I'm getting ready to order some parts and I want to try and figure out what I'm going to order based on what I see for wear on these items and then also uh, once I get prices, uh, obviously the seal kit, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to need that to replace all the, all the little seals and O-rings and that should take care of uh, most of my leaks and then there's some other items that I'm not too sure about. Um, the plastic dampening ring, um, we got also, I think it's also called a flex ring uh, or flex plate, might be another term that might be used for it. Uh, that uh, plastic ring that tends to be prob problematic in these, uh, I believe that that has already been replaced in this pump because I haven't found it anywhere and then when I talked to um, one of the parts suppliers, he had said that uh, he believed what I was describing was the part that actually holds the weights. And I had already moved the weights out of this carrier right here. And the only thing I can see on this is this ring right here. So I think on the original pump, I think this carrier was different and that it had a plastic ring right here that went on here and I think what happened was at some point somebody did a rebuild on this pump and upgraded it to this assembly right here so I think that's already been taken care of which is good because it's about 55 bucks for for this if this is what it is in fact uh, if this is in fact what I think it is uh, and this looks like it's in good shape so I'm not really worried about that I'm also going to shoot some um, high resolution photos so that I can uh, give everybody a better look at what I'm looking at as far as wear type uh, indicators on this. Like for instance down in there, uh, it's kind of hard to see it with this, but I'll take a photo. Took some pretty good pictures of uh, this part right here called the cam ring because I could see some wear marks on the inside of this. Uh, that's basically where these rollers right here roll around and uh, the rollers themselves look really good well I had to go upstairs to get batteries for the camcorder because they died so figured I'd get myself a beer tonight we have uh, Hocus Pocus this is out of a variety pack from uh, Magic Hat Brewing Company. And it's pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, I looked at those rollers. They look good. And then I looked at the uh, little holders for the rollers. And uh, it's these parts right here. They don't look too bad in there. But on the side you can see wear. A little bit of wear on them. But I'm not overly concerned about those. Um, <coughs> getting back to where's that cam ring? Uh, so where I see the most wear on this section is uh, in this cam ring right here. Then there's wear on this plate, which interestingly enough, I think I saw. Uh, a post somewhere where somebody said instead of replacing this if it's worn just flip it over and 
if you look you can see the wear marks on this side if you flip it over there's wear marks on this side so again I think somebody rebuilt this pump I think they already did a flip on this These two tiny rollers, which is the one, which are the ones that actually get compressed by the uh, the rollers that those rollers roll around in the cam ring and push on those little like shoes that hold those rollers, and then the backs of those, right where that little dimple mark is, right there, push on the ends of these rollers, so fuel gets trapped fuel that's between these two gets compressed into the really really high pressures so the sides of these rollers where they slide in and out they don't seem to be look too bad the ends have little marks on them Now I need to inspect these little veins right here in the uh, transfer pump section of the uh, pump and to do that I've got to take them out of this ring and I've got to be real careful because there are little tiny springs in there that uh, uh, are go between uh, two of these. So there's two springs in there, uh, one between one pair and one between the other pair. So I want to take note of how these go in here before I uh, take them out. And uh, looks like there's two dimples. These look like they're actually pretty symmetrical. So you've got a long side and a short side. But each individual one appears to be identical. So first I'm going to get some good photos of the inside of this ring. I don't see any... Uh, Okay, I do see some striations there. Little deep gouges. And once you get two pairs of these little veins out, you can separate them. See the spring is just a tiny little spring that sits in these long holes. And you're just going to make sure that neither one of these springs is broken. And then you can inspect each one of these veins individually. So I'm going to look at them on the magnification and then take some high-res photos of these. 